Hello, this is Joyce Nott of Spring King Channel. I'm here with Old Cam, and today we're going to be talking about the changing face of viral video. Now, a lot of you have heard that, oh, I mean, part of it is you expect viral video to be there forever and ever and ever. No, it is changing. That's one of the things that we will tell you will always happen is it's changing. But now we're noticing that it's going to start changing quite dramatically. Because, well, let's just say that YouTube is now allowing um, sure. Uploads up to is it 20 gigabytes? 20 gigabytes. Wow, that is a lot. Yeah, and and basically giving you a new weight, a new loader system that will allow you to continue to load, um, even though your load may stop. Okay, most of the people don't have, um, uh, which is why, which is why that. Um, you know, downloading video from the internet isn't working as well as they hope because most people don't have a fast enough system to upload a 20 gigabyte video. Well, and then the other challenge too, first of all, on those uploads, is the more data you use, and they start slowing you down and shutting you off. Yeah, yeah you've seen the, the mention on the cell phone commercials, it's not just cell phones that no, it happens to. and it has nothing to do, okay, the, they'll tell you that net neutrality will stop that. No, net neutrality is basically to make certain that Oh, the right people that have the best interest of the, of the uh, people in the country uh, will be in charge of what gets on the internet, which is why Comcast bought the NBC television network. I always love they, when they say the right people. That's like giving somebody else the, the right to redistribute wealth. Oh, I know. But, but that's a whole nother. It's people that they consider have the best. You know, uh, television networks, TV stations, and newspapers and magazines, publications have the best interest of public. So that's what net neutrality is actually about. But, um, no, we, we've been finding out. Like, YouTube basically is a money, um, as a business that's meant to make money, and it really does. No one knows how much money they lose losing, but the estimates are astronomical, you know, in the hundreds of millions of dollars, because uh, what happens is YouTube uh, will try to monetize everything they possibly can, but they have a problem with, uh, with the advertising market drying up. They've had to change, you know, the rules on how much money you can get off of this, and they've also had to change who they're getting for sponsors, and... Sponsors can be very, the most liberal sponsor can be very narrow-minded when it comes to the internet. They don't like viral video. That's absolutely true, huh? Yeah, totally, absolutely. They totally hate viral video because it's not something that they can personally control, so therefore they're very guarded with where to put their money. And uh, as we understand, YouTube is basically wanting to, well, one of the things YouTube would like to do with the airplane going overhead is to uh, buy Hulu. Because Hulu fits into the new YouTube, uh, new Google business model, because they tried to do rent videos on their own, and they have uh, tried to do you know everything you think of. So they're uh, right now they're they're getting a new channel on. They have a 3D channel. They're gonna have like um, I think I don't know 10, 12 different channels is what the rumor is going around. And these 10 or 12 channels will invite people to come over and put videos on those sites that they think can be monetized. And remember, it's what they think can be monetized, not yours. Um, uh, we know some people that basically are drawing 150,000 to 200,000 views a week on their videos that are basically on the verge of having their site set down because in reality, there is no way they can figure out how to monetize the video. So, because, uh, you know, like in the world, because, I mean, see, you toss that up. It is their sandbox, folks. They pay for everything you don't. And uh, if they're losing the kind of money that it looks like they're losing on a monthly basis, they cannot afford to continue to do things. I mean, um, how many? Okay, how many viral sites were we on that are no longer existing? Uh, a lot of them. A lot of them. Uh, With Crackle, Vo, um, you know, MSN, MSN, MSN and you Yahoo. Microsoft has all the money, but they changed the model. Yeah, they changed the model because um, they 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 couldn't figure out how to make money off of viral videos because. Most of the viral videos are put up are just like things from your cell phone or something that are funny stuff or, or uh, little weblogs or something. But That's one of the things they've been trying to change it to more like weblogs and webisodes. In fact, webisodes are becoming more popular and there's actually um, people that are going out to finance those. Yeah. And that seems to be like where the advertising dollars well, are going. Well, we know people that are doing the webisodes right now. I mean, one of, them, one of the people we know is doing one in the um, auto industry. He's got... He's proud to announce he's got the first, I guess, the uh, first four shows are on iTunes and on other things, but um, the web, web shows are always bigger. They're looking for uh, long form pieces, you know, like uh, if you were doing a short story and a, you know, a video, a tele, um, motion picture short, which is eight minutes to like uh, eight minutes to a half hour, 
they're looking for longer pieces because the longer pieces are easier to find uh, advertisers for. Well, you know, that's one of the things that they used to do is they used to encourage you to do short form, right? Like yeah. two, two, three, four minutes. Yeah. Now they're trying to get people to ask for the longer ones. Yeah. They used I to think do, they want movies. Yeah, they want movies. They want something in high def. Uh, they like high def, 3D, motion pictures, uh, television thing, half hour TV shows that you would do for them. Uh, I know that Yahoo this morning made the announcement that they've got a new uh, new women's video, you know, new, basically their Yahoo TV has got uh, entertainment for women now available. Because as Yahoo is, Yahoo is getting ready to to become private or basically sell to somebody else, their, their business model is changing into a, a model where they can sell more advertising for what they're providing. Well, you know, I think a lot of this has to do with them wanting to actually be a channel on television because they've talk, been talking about internet TV for a while, you know, being on TV, and part of it was that the resolution from the viral videos were not good enough. So as things have changed before, you yeah. know, even we used to put them up in much smaller resolution, now we put them up in high def. Yeah. Um, but it takes longer. Okay, like this video here is for iReport. It can take God awful ever to put up this short little thing that's going to be put up in an MPEG-4 form. I mean, and you I might... I just can't even imagine 20 gigabytes how long that would take. I know somebody had uploaded a movie and I talked to them they said, well, it took them multiple tries. I think it took them three days to upload Oh, oh yeah. Well, I, we actually attended a conference where the guy said he, he, went to, he went to Asia for his company. He started the load. He came back from Asia to attend the, uh, to <laughs> attend the conference we were at. He hoped to have it loaded by the end of the conference, which was a couple of days for the <laughs> so, No, what they don't understand, what people don't understand is that you can only load as fast as the Internet provider will allow you to load and basically the average internet provider is not giving you 30 you know millisecond like a second folks that is not happening you're paying premium for that you've got a, a lower end so uh, it, it's not cost effective for uh, a person doing viral video to upgrade to a more expensive system also to, to upgrade to high data equipment either well you know part of it is as an independent film producer I, I can see people using the viral video to help them gain an audience they yeah. can sell things but as Part is 20 gigabyte upload to try and no, I mean, we give, can't give it that. to them for free. I mean, it's like I know because we've got a lot of friends that are actors. It's like if you're going to produce something that's even anywhere near 20 gigabytes, for one thing, um, you probably haven't compressed it enough. Yeah. Uh, for another, and you're going what? Compressed it enough? Yeah. Think about when you get a movie that's on the big screen and you buy it on DVD. It's on a DVD. Yeah, and it's compressed. Or maybe two DVDs. And basically, those DVDs aren't really designed to hold a movie like the Pirates of the Caribbean and all the special features, it's all got to do with compression. That's why YouTube is comp continually buying things that will help them to compress not, you know, with them compress more. But YouTube is changing, you know, I mean, uh, we, we knew viral video wasn't going to be around forever. I mean, it will be around for you sending it from cell phone to cell phone. But other than that, I mean, I mean, well, it, 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 people can't, it just, there's no place to put them anymore, folks. Well, part of it is as a business model, I mean, and that's what we're talking about, and that's what's encouraging all the changes, is they have lost a lot of money yeah. because they've been paying for all the bandwidth. And so yeah. they were looking for ways to monetize it by bringing in advertisers. And advertisers do not like what they see in viral videos. They want they want the weblog, they want the half hour, they want the... Uh, you know, the, the sketch stuff, they you know, like full, they got uh, our TV things, motion pictures, that they can they can get people to pay for, but... Um, but here's the, here's the challenge, is as a producer of content, other than putting up teasers, if you're going to start putting up all the full load things, you basically are giving it away for free. You're giving it away for free, and uh, it's not going to happen, and then also not going to be allowed to put up free teasers eventually either. All of that market, I mean, okay, we're now down to, I think, Vimeo, Daily Motion and um, YouTube, that's all that's left. All that's left. Uh, well, and then the other part is there are companies that are starting to finance webisodes yeah. where they will give them money to do it and they're sp sponsored by companies. But part of here's the other part is, and, and you know, and part of it is it's, it's not just for people that don't do things. I mean, there's been like Keanu Reeves, Ileana Douglas. Yeah. There's people from friends. Lisa Kodro was basically famous for her things. That's why um, I know a lot of stuff on Funny or Die or webisodes, but I mean, Viral video, as you know it, is now dead in this country, yeah. and it will never be back. So, you know, it was fun while it lasted, but, um, you know, you're not going to see many videos like this done ever again um, on YouTube. I mean, you know, we're, I report is basically the last bastion for news people to be able to put up news pieces now. Oh, that's 